तो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑप्टिमम एडुकेटर्स आई एम प्रोफेसर सलमान पेटीवाला मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट फ्रॉम आईआईटी मद्रास बट बिफोर गोइंग फॉरवर्ड प्लीज लाइक आ वीडियो शेयर आ वीडियो सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फॉर मोर एडुकेशनल कंटेंट ऑन आर चैनल Let me tell you, solving papers for JE exam and NEET exam are very very important. Because question, आप जब solve करते हो ना exam question solve करते हो, तो आपको पता चलता है कि actually में किस type के question आते हैं exam में. और एक और चीज, आप लोग अपनी timing भी देख सकते हो कितने time में मैं एक question करता हूँ. So you should practice a lot of past papers, and for that we are there with you. And It is advised that at least पांच पेपर आप करो हमने तीन ऑलरेडी सॉल्व कर लिए हैं आप लोग पांच करके जाना और दो आप लोग खुद प्रैक्टिस करना ओके सो फॉर दैट देर इज अ डेमो इन विच वी हैव शोन दैट हाउ वी हैव सॉल्व एग्जाम पेपर क्वेश्चन फर्दर फॉर द कंप्लीट सोल्यूशन ऑफ द एग्जाम पेपर फॉर द इयर्स एज ए मैंशन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन सिक्सटीन एंड फिफ्टीन प्लीज क्लिक ऑन द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो एंड बाई द वीडियो लेक्चर्स एट अट्रैक्टिव रेट्स एंड डिस्काउंट थैंक यू This paper which we are going to solve is NEET 2070 Biology paper. So let's begin with the first question. Double fertilization is exhibited by. So out of these four plants, which category shows double fertilization? Now before I tell you the answer, first I will tell you the meaning of double fertilization. Double fertilization means where two male gametes fertilize two different cells. One male gamete fertilizes egg cell, which is called as syngamy, and one male cell fertilizes the secondary primary endonucleus, or which is called as secondary nuclear cell, and the process is called as triple fusion. When this two happens, this is called as double fertilization. so which plant exhibit double fertilization you all know it's a peculiar feature of angiosperm so you got your answer because gymnosperm algae bacteria and fungi doesn't show such feature correct option is option 4 next question which of the following are found in extreme saline condition so whenever there is extreme saline condition what out of this four bacteria you can see the option they have mentioned bacteria which bacteria can survive in extreme saline condition i will directly tell you the answer it is archaebacteria now we need to find out the reason why archaebacteria can survive in saline condition extreme saline condition because archaebacteria in their cell membrane have branched lipid chain which reduce loss of fluidity and this is the reason rk rest of the bacteria doesn't have this feature so rk bacteria is the correct answer next question number 93 select the mismatch Now, first option, Francia alnus, correct. Francia is the name of bacteria. Alnus is a other organism. It's a kind of plant in which it is forming. Rhodospirillum mycorrhiza. Now, Rhodospirillum is a bacteria which carry out free nitrogen fixation and. Mycorrhiza is carrying out symbiosis, so free living and symbiosis cannot have any relation. So option two is the correct answer according to the question. Next, what is the criterion for DNA fragments movement on agarose gel during gel electrophoresis? A uh, student, electrophoresis is a process in which we separate the DNA fragments. Now you all know it is based on the charges present on the molecule. DNA is a negative molecule, but out of these four options, which would be correct related to the question? What they are asking? Out of these four criteria, 
which criteria is related to the movement of DNA fragment. So, first option the larger the fragment size the farther the farther it moves that is wrong. If it is larger fragment it may occupy the whole plate in the electrophoresis. The smaller the fragment size the farther it moves this one is correct. Positively charged fragments move to farther end not necessary negative charge moves no not necessary. So, option 2 is the correct answer we will confirm our answer. Attractants and rewards are required for now attractants means what? Attractants means some features which attract other. and rewards are something given to organism for comeback. So, they have mentioned four types of pollination in the option. We have to find out in which type of pollination attractants and rewards are required from the flower to be given to that organism. First, anemophily. Anemophily is a wind pollination, entomophily is insect pollination, hydrophily is water pollination, clistogamy is a pollination inside the closed flower. So, closed flower does not require any agent. So, out of this which one need to be attracted? Insect. So, an option 2 is the correct option. Let us check out or option 2 is our answer, we will confirm it. Next, which of the following is made up of dead cell? Xylem paragama? No. Cholenchyma? No. Phylum? Phylum is nothing but the dead cork cells, worn out dead cork cells and phloem not at all. So, phylum is the answer. Next, which cells of crypts of Liberkum secrete antibacterial lysozyme? Now, first of all we need to understand what is the meaning of crypts of Liberkin. Liberkin is the name of a scientist and what is this crypts? Crypts are nothing but a small capillary kind of space found inside some tissues. Crypts, space, minute space formed inside some tissues. Now, crypts of Liberkin is present in small intestine. And it secretes lysozyme, which is antibacterial in action. But crypts of Liberkin consist of which type of cells? Let us find out out of this four argentafin cells. Now, argentafin cells is responsible for secretion of hormones, which is not present in crypts of Liberkin. Next, because lysozyme is an enzyme. Next, penit cell. Penit cell is the answer. Let us check out the other zymogen cells also secrete enzyme, but it is not present in crypts of Liberkin. Kaffir cells are present in liver. The right option is the second one. Let us check out or confirm our answer. Ninety-eight question. Adult human RBCs are enucleated. Enucleated means nucleus is absent. So, which of the following statement is or are most appropriate explanation for this feature? So, they are asking out of this four option, which statements are related to RBC or for not having nucleus? So, first option it is saying that they do not need to reproduce that is wrong. They are somatic cells. This is also not, not necessary. If it is a somatic cell, it should be enucleated. They do not metabolize. That is also wrong. All their internal space is available for oxygen transport. This is the only correct statement related to RBC. But we will check out our answer only D. Next, the hepatic portal vein drains blood to river from. Now, you all know hepatic portal vein is the circulatory network or structure which starts from capillary and ends into capillary 
and it starts from small intestine and enters the liver. So, you got your answer already and that is intestine. Next, the final proof for DNA as a genetic material came from the experiments of which scientist? Four options they have given. Now, do you remember three experiments taught to you? First was Griffith experiment, second was every McLeod and McCarty experiment and last one was Hershey and Chase. So, Hershey and Chase experiment gave the final proof. Griffith told transforming principle, every McLeod and McCarty has done good experiment, but people does not confirm it. The final confirmation came from Hershey and Chase, that is the answer. Next, which among the following is the smallest living cell known without a definite cell wall, pathogenic to plant as well as animal and can survive without oxygen. So, three conditions they are giving. This organism is not having a cell wall, it is a pathogen to plants and animals and also it can survive without oxygen. Now, you must remember this is the only name which is having all three features that is mycoplasm. Let us check out the option are given, yes, it is option 3. Next, which of the following option gives the correct sequence of events during mitosis? So, pay attention, it is mitosis not meiosis. Let us check out the option, option number 1. Condensation, nuclear, definitely in prophase, condensation takes place, early prophase, nuclear membrane disassembly in late prophase, crossing over, wrong because crossing over occur in meiosis. So, option 1 not correct. Let us check out for the option 2. Condensation, nuclear membrane, condensation occurs in early prophase, nuclear membrane disassembly in late prophase, arrangement at equator, metaphase, centromere division, anaphase, segregation and then telophase. Option 2 is the correct one. Option 3 and 4, you can see 3 contain crossing over which is not related, 4 is not arranged properly, so these 2 options are not valid. Question number 103, which one of the following statement is correct with reference to enzyme? First of all, whatever term is given in this option, you need to know the meaning of this term. First, apoenzyme, apoenzyme is inactive enzyme. Holoenzyme is an enzyme which is activated only when apoenzyme and coenzyme are together. So, holoenzyme is a combination of apoenzyme and coenzyme. What is coenzyme? Coenzyme is a non proteinaceous substance which supports the process of metabolism by supporting the enzyme. Holoenzyme, I already told you, cofactor. Cofactor will be any chemical which initiate or accelerate or helps in making the process efficient. So, the correct answer is option 2. So, let us check it out or confirm our answer. Next, question number 104. During DNA replication, Okazaki fragments are used to elongate. Now, you all know Okazaki fragments are present in pieces. Fine. So, is it lagging or leading strand? First of all, it is a lagging strand. So, we are not going to check out for the leading strand. Leading strand first and third option is wrong. Now, second and fourth option we have to check it out. The lagging strand towards the replication fork. Now, you all know replication fork. This is a replication fork, fine. And whenever a new strand is formed, it is formed, this is Okazaki fragment. So, it is formed away from replication fork, it is formed in this direction. So, option number 4 is the correct answer according to the concept, but we will confirm our answer. Next, which of the following are not polymeric? Now, first of all, we need to understand what is the meaning of polymeric. Polymeric means long chain of any chemical formed by joining n number of 
monomers. So nucleic acid is a polymer of amino acid. Pro, uh, sorry, nucleic acid is a mon mono uh, polymer of nucleotides. They are the polymer of nucleotides. Protein are the polymers of amino acid. Polysaccharides are the polymers of glucose or you can say sugar. But lipids are not the polymers. They are the esters of alcohol and fatty acid. They are esters of alcohol and fatty acid. I hope you got your answer. Next, we have next question. <coughs> 